If you like cool and funky retro watches, boy do I have a watch for you. The Brew Metric. Funky retro style timepieces that draw upon vintage watch design language and, not kidding here, but also coffee. Aesthetically, Brew watches take their design cues from espresso machines. Their brushed and polished surfaces, their colours, curves and contours, and the overall feel of an espresso machine. Which in my opinion, obviously I also like coffee, but just in general, is really, really cool. Because the Brew Metric is completely original, unlike anything else, and is most definitely a watch that stands out next to timepieces 10 to even 100 times its price. Like, it's so out there, but it works so, so well. Anyway, getting right into the specs, it sports a hybrid VK68 Mecha Quartz Chronograph. Now this has a sweeping seconds hand and a flyback reset, which is really, really good for the price range. Its accuracy is plus or minus about 20 seconds a month, so about 0.6 to 0.7 seconds or so a day, which again, I mean, it's a quartz. Well, it's, te like, it's technically it's a hybrid of quartz and mechanical, but we'll get into that later, but um, its accuracy is really good. That, that's all you need to know. It does only sport 50 meters of water resistance, so no swimming, but it will be fine washing your hands or going in the rain and etc. And it's not a dive piece anyway, so I think that's perfectly acceptable. It has a flat sapphire crystal, which is actually really good for its just under $400 price range. Its case and bracelet are industry standard 316L stainless steel with a signed folding clasp and micro adjustments oh love them they make it so you can get the perfect fit for you and change your fit very slightly on the go as your you know wrist size changes throughout the day expanding and contracting from heat and stress etc it comes in a variety of colors from the pvd black to the gold to the just normal so i do think there is a design for every sort of style out there and with a 36 millimeter diameter a 20 millimeter lug width a 41.5 millimeter lug to lug and being just under 11 millimeters thick, it wears so nice on all wrists. It really does wear really well. The history is actually extremely brief because the company was only founded in 2015, so it's really, really new, and was founded originally in New York City by John Farah just because he was in a coffee shop and likes watches, which I think is a really fun, funky story to come up with your company with, as well as that being why the designs are based off of coffee and espresso machines which I just think is really cool. Now to get into my personal review I'll start by saying it's an extremely nice watch for a $395 price tag. The whole design is unique, the finishing is really good, the flat sapphire crystal is amazing for the price range, I mean it doesn't even get better than sapphire crystal when you're buying £500,000 watches or $500,000 watches I should say. The watch is aesthetically pleasing and is a statement piece that stands out anywhere and works really well with more of a vintage -y, retro aesthetic. The coffee bean logo is tasteful, the case back is engraved very nicely, it has micro adjustments and most importantly the movement is also actually really good. What I mean by this is that the movement is obviously high accuracy and low maintenance because it's quartz technically but it also looks fabulous as for those unfamiliar with the caliber, it's a hybrid offering quartz accuracy overlaid with mechanical chronograph mechanisms. So you get the satisfying click on the pushers, the sweeping seconds hand, the flyback reset, and it is technically still half mechanical, so it's really good. And it's extremely, extremely accurate for such a low price. Overall, I'd say it's one of the coolest watches under $400 and if you like coffee, retro designs, watches that are cool and unique, I don't see how you can go wrong with this timepiece because it's well made, completely unique, in my opinion looks really good but obviously people have different tastes and there's just nothing wrong with it, it's just an overall great watch. Anyways, thanks for watching to the end, if you made it here you may as well subscribe right, like you're, you're already here, you've, you've been here what like a, a little bit of time like you just subscribe and that, that video if you like this video just that that one that just just click it man just click it